I have to ask about Balgruf's strange children. That's what it was. Right. I talked to the innkeeper and asked for any rumors, and she, she told me that Yar Balgruf's children are acting weird. So, I guess I'll go talk to him about that? So, let's go do it. Oh, the Gilder Green looks so pretty now. Aww. So nice. Ashman? <laughs> Seinfeld reference. By Izmir, you've helped save the Gilded Green. I know, I just saw it. It's beautiful, look at it. That's such a good shot of White Run, too. Mine is Heimsker down there. Annoying. Prick. I worry about the other settlements in the whole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dragons are under control, okay? I am here. It's fine. I am under. I'm under control. Because that's apparently something you we need had to worry about, too. Contained. And you release them. Why? Why would you do Any so? amount of explaining I do isn't gonna change your mind, so whatever. Hey May there! The watch over your battles, friend. Hey, buddy. Uh, I know it's not really any of my business, so forgive the intrusion, but I hear you're having trouble with your kids? Yes, my youngest son. He's a dark child. I don't know what to do with him. He was always a quiet lad, but lately... <laughs> Something has changed. He's become brooding, violent. Huh. He won't say a word to me, but I don't know how I upset him. If you could speak to him, draw out the truth, I would be immensely grateful. I can do that. By the way, is this the, the whispering door? That sounds creepy. Nelkir, is that the kid that every time I walk by goes, Another visitor here to lick my father's boots. Good job, because he's a dick and I don't like him. Girls' quarters. Of course, the kids would be in here, right? Oh. I don't know if you guys heard my phone vibrating, because I didn't. <laughs> but apparently, Another somebody. Another wanderer here to lick my phone. It is boots. you! Good job. Shut up! Your father told me to talk to you, you little snot. So, the disgusting pig sent you to bother me. Holy crap. One day, I'll tear his face apart so he can leave me alone. Holy <laughs> fuck. My father doesn't know anything about me. But I know about him. And about the war. More than he might think. Okay, you're kind of freaking me out, son. Um, how do you... Well, you know what? Spill the beans, kid. Give me the deets. I know that he still worships Talos. That he hates the Thalmor almost as much as the Stormcloaks do. Well, who wouldn't? That he worries about being chased from Whiterun. Mm. That he... That I'm... That I don't have the same mother as my brother and sister. Oh, shit! How do you know that? This castle is old. Lots of places nobody's been in a long while. Places where you can overhear things. See things. Whispers beyond the door. And the Whispering Lady. That's freaky. Who are you talking about, kid? She won't tell me her name. I've gotten good at listening to keyholes. At the door in the basement, I hear her talking to me. Oh, basement! I thought I was caught, but she started telling me even more secrets. But I can't open the door. Maybe I can. Where is it? In the basement. Trust me. Okay! She'll see it. I bet she'll talk to you, too. Alright, then. Okay! Cool. I'll just leave out the part where you said you, you were gonna kill board. your father by Hannibal lectoring his face off. Uh, yeah. Shut up! I don't care! Whatever it is you were gonna say, I don't care! Go away. Okay, now I'm going into the basement. How do I get to- I was unaware this building had a basement. Where's the basement? What is it? What do you need? Hey, yo! What is it that you need? I can't now tell you that your kid mind. wants to murder you, but whatever, I guess that's not my problem. Am I going in here? Hold on. Nope, I'm going over here. So he said, he said I'd know the whispering door when I saw it, so maybe I'll, the oh boy. Yep, that's a creepy ass door. Requires key. Ooh, I will eavesdrop. 
At last. Oh, God, what? I've been waiting for someone more fit to carry out my will. Who the hell are you? The child is spirited, but lacks agency. For what? Is there somebody back there? Regrettably, I cannot reach your plane so directly. But I forgive you for not knowing who I am. Few hear my whispers anymore. What does that mean? I am Mephala, the Lady of Whisper. Mephala? I not heard of you. the web of connections between mortals. Love, hatred, loyalty, betrayal. Okay. The boy was good at sussing out secrets. You, I expect to take a more active role. Why? I don't wanna. But I also don't want to risk dropping the quest, so what do you need me to do, lady? First, you must open this door. Got any idea where the key is? A piece is? of my power has been locked away behind it. And even my eyes cannot see past the seal. Okay. I'd much rather it be in the hands of an ambitious and talented person. Such as yourself? Well, thanks. I'm flattered. Uh, by the way, I have a question. You know, I, I just got off of dealing with uh, your buddies, Hermaeus Mora and Molag Ball, and I got a question for all of you. Why the hell are your voices so damn loud? They rattle in my brain, and I have to yell to hear myself over you. Why is this a common trait between all you people? How do I... How do I get it open? Any idea where the key might be? The whole of Whiterun is ripe with paranoia and tensions. The Jarl's court is right to fear the power I hold behind this door. Oh, so let's open it by all the means. The Jarl trusts few, and they will be his undoing. The Dark Child knows of what I speak. Let him guide your path. Okay, cool. You know, the last time I spoke to a dark child, I ended up murdering the owner of an orphanage. Not like she didn't deserve it, but yeah, I really didn't expect this to become habit, and yet here I am. Nothing weird. I'm not doing anything that anybody should be concerned about at all. You. So you know the Whispering Lady, don't you? I can tell. Well, I do now. Uh, do you have any idea how to open that door? I told you, I know everything about this castle. For some reason, that door is special. Okay. Only two people can open it. Balgroof and Farangar, the court wizard. How you get it from them is up to you. Nobody would notice if Farangar went missing, I promise you. I somehow doubt that, you know, him being the court wizard and all. I approving dragon's reach in case of attack by, um... Yeah. Covenants, you're my steward. Your job is to offer me counsel. This, this is not counsel. The fuck? Of course, sir. Why isn't that counsel? There's a dragon menace. He's he's suggesting you fireproof your 98% wooden fort here, and you say that's not counsel. What's your problem? Maybe I should keep both out of this. Is, as you can imagine, very busy. Perhaps I can uh, smile on you, friend. Uh, I apparently can't talk to you about what I wanted to talk to you about. I'll put it simple. If the magic, hopefully that answer magic. will satisfy you. Okay, today. bye. I suppose I could just do this. Uh, uh oh. My my pickpocketing skill is not as good as I was expecting. Okay, hold on. I should probably quick save, right? Okay. <laughs> Sit down, you bitch. All right. Oh my god, I did it. Okay, I got the key. I got the key. I'm gonna go do it now. Hello, Jarl. Not doing anything suspicious or in connection with Daedric Lords. Not even a little bit. 
Don't mind me. Don't ask what this key's for. No, you don't recognize it. <gasps> I don't think they're onto me. <laughs> oh, shit. I opened the door. Ebony Blade. Well, this room is boring. Admonition against Ebony? To anyone reading this, beware this blade. Swell! <laughs> it is hoped that the only pe people having access to this room should be the Jarl of Whiterun and his trusted wizard. If anyone else is reading this, please understand the magnitude of your folly. Turn around and never speak of this room or this blade to anyone. Oh god, that's so creepy. Ugh. It has corrupted and perverted the desires of great men and women, yet its power is without equal. To kill while your victim smiles at you. What? Only a Daedra most foul could have concocted such a malevolent and twisted weapon, but it appears that all who wield it end up with the crazed eyes of those wild men who roam the hills chattering with rabbits, the Forsworn? Really? It is not to be trifled with. Not even the hottest fires of the Skyforge could melt it. Indeed, the coals themselves seemed to cool when it was placed within. We cannot destroy it, and we would not have it fall into the hands of our enemies, so we keep it hidden, dark and deep within Dragon's Reach. Not that deep, buddy. Never to be used. Woe be to any who choose to take it. It's mine now! Excellent work. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no. I trust you're sharp enough to see that the sword doesn't match the description of the ebony blade you may know. There was no description! It has languished too long outside the winds of alliance and betrayal. Okay. To return to its past glory, it must first Drink the blood of deceit. Who would have figured? I gotta kill people with Your it. Your world is admirably seeped in lies and inclinations. My blade is a darling leech that feeds on deceptions and nourishes its master. Okay. Seek out those closest to you. The final pluck of their misguided heartstrings will accompany my blade in a song of your grandeur. Uh, I think I've just decided that taking that blade was a very bad idea. She just told me to use the sword against those closest to me. Closest to me. He can't even look me in the eyes. He he he's so against the idea. I am too, buddy, and don't worry. Not gonna do it. These Daedric quests are going by a lot faster than I thought they would. We already have three of them out of the way. We've done Hermaeus Mora, we've done Moleg Ball, and now we've done Mephala. If that was her name. There it is, Ebony Blade. Oh dang, it looks pretty cool. Absorb the life essence of your foes, strengthened by the blood of deceit. Not doing it. I'm not asking you to defy the yacht. I didn't even look at the damage. Damage sucks! But they say it strengthens itself, so. Use and God, your children are a bunch of prudes, Balgroof. <laughs> Old Hrolden Inn, east of Markarth. You guys mentioned that to me. So. East? I haven't discovered it yet. That's Rorikstead. Okay, so I guess I'll fast travel to Kolskager and see if it comes up and we'll figure out where it is from there. Oh my god, I'm so close. I am so close. I am so close. Come on, I'm so close! Keep going! Oh my god, I made it. Oh my god, I made it. And I almost walked directly into the waterfall. That would have been embarrassing. Okay, Loverstone, you're a bitch and a half to get to. What do you do? Ooh. 
All skills improve faster. Always feel a lover's comfort. Oh, that's so sweet! Fuck it. Yeah, of course it took off the Lord Stone. Of fucking course it did. That is such a cool shot with the moon right there. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so I now have the Steed Stone and the Lover Stone. Which means I take more damage. Speaking of damage. Got it. Nothing to worry about. Good job, Onmund. I think it would be, once I eventually start doing shenanigans in Skyrim in VR, uh, I think it would be really fun to do the Dragonborn. Not, not Dragonborn. Uh, well, that too, I guess. But the the Dawnguard DLC in VR with all the vampires and shit, I think that would actually make it pretty scary. But you know what I just realized is gonna absolutely suck about playing Skyrim in VR is I'm gonna have to start over from square one again. That's like hundreds, hello, hundreds of hours of VR. My brain is gonna trigger a seizure and die. <laughs> All right, and we're here. Old Hrolden discovered. Let me just go ahead and get this marker off my mitt. Get out of here. Okay. And here we are. Just an inn out in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Again, this is one of the things you guys suggested I should check out if I hadn't seen it already, and I haven't, ah, so... a visitor. Oh, hi. Old Hrolden Inn has hundreds of years of history, friend. Really? Well, tell me more, please. Hi, Scully. This is the old Rolden Inn. Clean beds and strong drink. You're you're grown up. Watch your tongue, stranger. We don't take back talk in this inn. I d I'm just asking a question. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Immature and touchy. Old Rolden is the stone that the Empire's history is built on. Really? What makes you say that? You'll be looking to rent Tiber Septim's room. I take it. Excuse me? What was that? That's right. In the Second Era, Tiber Septim himself led the army that conquered Old Hrolden from the Barbarians of the Reach. Septim would later found the Empire that united Tamriel, but his first known battle and victory was right here. Whoa. And this inn has the very bed the great general slept in on his first night as Old Hrolden's liberator. As good as it was hundreds of years ago. So, so do you do you have people coming in here for the sole purpose of, of banging on Tiber Receptum's bed? Because that wouldn't surprise me at all. Um, that's not what I'm gonna do, though. Not at all. So, can I have it? Have a good rest. It's the big room with the double bed. Cool. Just what we I'll show you to your need. Room. Right this way. I mean, you told me what room it was. I don't need you to show me, but whatever. Okay, I'm. Let me know if there's anything else. I'm you need. sleeping in Tiber Septim's bed. It is four in the goddamn morning. So, Onman, could you let the pretty lady out? Okay, I guess we're just gonna be here for eternity. Cool. Oh, pff. all right. Don't do none of that teleporting shit around me, okay? I'm right behind you. We're destruction mages, not conjuration. Um. I need you to do something for me, baby. All right. What is it? What do you need? I need you to take a rest. Okay. Got it. In Tiber Septim's bed. Okay. Anything else? Now stay there, please. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll have a healthy six hours. Why not? I mean, that's not enough, but it's good enough. Uh huh. Why are we, why is there screaming? Hello? Screaming? What just happened? You okay, woman? Mara, have mercy. That gave me a fright. What just happened? There's a ghost just wandering around my inn like it owned the place. Excuse me? W why? Yes. I've heard stories that old Hrolden was haunted, but no one's seen a ghost here since the Great War. He's from the battle, I just know it. Mm. He's one of Tiber Septim's soldiers, back from the dead. And he don't like it, that we desecrated his bed! 
Oh god, no! Onman, are you tired? Sorry, I know it was only six hours, but you know, it's 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 almost eleven AM. We got shit to do. Like apparently going and approaching a ghost sitting in the chair right over there on the other side of the inn. Do you see that shit? What is he doing? His helmet's cool, I'm gonna go talk to him. Hello, sir! Would you mind if I set by your side nah. to take back the reach from the savages? You did yeah. not. Yes, mom. I am definitely not like a hundred and fifty or five hundred and fifty, whatever it is, years old. But you want a drink? Fuck off! I'm talking to a ghost. Mm -hmm. You don't know me, okay, bruh? Shelty, is that you? I've been waiting. Nope, I'm not Shelty. Who is that? You promised me, Yalti. You promised that when we sacked Folder, you would make me your sworn brother. And I've waited. Okay. Even after the enemy's arrows dug into my chest and their hammers crushed my bones, I've waited. That doesn't sound like a pleasant way to go. Give me your sword, Yalti. That we may become brothers, as you promised. I am not this Hjalti that you speak of, so I don't have your sword, okay? I don't know where to find it either, so... But I guess that's what we're doing today, Onman. We're just gonna wander around Skyrim and find one stinking goddamn undescriptive sword! I long to taste battle again. Okay. Sweet. Who are you? You don't remember me, Jolti? Two campaigns we served together. You saved my life time and time again. Okay. That, you know, I meant your name. That's what I wanted. Whatever. You ghosts are all the same. Cryptic, demanding jerks. 